Hey gang, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you could join me here today. I thought in today's video I would do my open here in the comfort of my own truck. You would not believe how bad the yellow jackets here are in West Virginia. I don't know if you guys are experiencing the phenomenon. I don't know what the hell is going on. You cannot go out on your own front porch without being surrounded by yellow jackets, let alone go mow your, your lawn. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I'd be curious to know if you know if you guys are experiencing the same thing. Again, I'm here in Southern West Virginia and I have never seen anything like it. So hopefully I can do this intro and get through it here in the comfort of my own truck without getting stung by one of those yellow jackets. But guys, in today's video, I was a little out of my comfort zone. And sometimes you do have to get out of your comfort zone and that even applies with fishing we threw some uh, different baits or at least i threw some different baits today i went fishing with my buddy mike we hit the tug fork river we fished some of the tug that we've never fished before we've sit we you know we fished some of it that we have fished before but it was just a beautiful day a beautiful stretch of water we caught a bunch of fish i think mike threw that black buzz bait pretty much all day and uh you know if you watch my channel you know i'm not shied away from trying different things i do have my confidence baits the nico helger might a lot of the z-man products but in today's video guys i threw some baits that i've had you know never thrown before at least some colors that i've never thrown before i had a couple gentlemen reach out to me right here from west virginia warren buddy i want to thank you for sending me some soft plastic warren is a gentleman who sent me uh, a bunch of different soft plastics. Uh, he's with the Outlaw Tackle Company right here in West Virginia. Warren, wait till you see the video, buddy. We caught fish on a lot of different soft plastics. I think the only thing I did not get to throw was the grub. I think Mike used it as a trailer on that buzz bait and caught a few fish. But nonetheless, we caught some fish. I had another gentleman reach out to me by the name of Jeff Lowe out of Charleston, West Virginia, who makes some of the best inline spinners that i've ever seen uh flies kind of in between a joe's fly and a rooster tail that's just something i don't throw in the summer or in the fall i do throw it in the winter try to catch these trout and i know bass in the early spring will hit them but i will have to definitely dis my, uh, discipline myself jeff to throw more of those inline spinners buddy i know they're good for these bass we caught them on the black ghost we caught them on the rusty red blast and if i'm not mistaken i threw both of those uh, I believe they were 1 16th ounce uh, weights. But anyway, I'd be curious to see how the 1 8th does and the 1 quarter here. A lot of time I'm in deeper water and I'm in a lot of current. So anyway, man, incredible paint job. I don't you know, I think I had any problem getting the spinner to spin. Uh, just with the lighter weights, you know, I had to slow down my retrieve. But we caught some fish. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, I was out with my buddy Mike on the Tug Fork River. And here's how it all went down. Our first one. We got a huge one here, man. Look at him. Yeah. Hit the wacky rig here. All right, guys. Here's our first one. Little six inch small mouth. All right, folks. I guess you could say that to start. Our first little small mouth of the day on the Elder's Magic 4-inch Yumdinger. Thank you, Dakota. I'm trying those out today, man. My buddy, Dakota, give me some of these. This is what we're starting with, guys. This is the Elder's Magic. I've just got that Ned rigged uh, there with a 1 15th ounce weight. That's what the color is. I love that purple and green color. And uh, again, thanks, Dakota. We're going to throw it here a little while. We're, we're going to at least start with it. And... Uh, See if we can catch some fish. That is fish number one as we start here on the Tug Fork River. That's where we're going to be fishing today. I got my buddy Mike. is also with me today. He's up above me here, guys. It's about 8.30 in the morning. You can see he's just up above me. I think he's starting with that buzz bait. It's going to be a beautiful day. Hopefully we can catch some fish here. We are in a beautiful section here today guys 
not going to be too hot. We're fishing a different section. Me and Mike's never fished this part of the tug, but uh, we should have a lot of good water in front of us here today. Hopefully the sun's going to come out. I don't know. It's probably something till 9, probably between 8.30 to 9, but we're going to move on up. I'm going to catch up with Mike here. We're going to fish this bend all the way up. I see some shoals up there, Mike, at the end of this. There's one. Little one. If we can get him in. Maybe. I hope he gives me my bait back. Well, he flipped it over in the water. Thank you, Smalley, for at least giving me my bait back, man. And uh, you're another. If I can get the hook out from around you here. Six inch fish, maybe. Thanks for biting, though. Now, let's see if we can find our yum dinger here. The elder's magic. Yeah, buddy, I believe we might have to retire that one. That's about in the middle, but Dakota, thank you, buddy, for letting me try these out. We're catching some fish on them. Well, guys, uh, we've caught a few here, starting with that Elder's Magic 4-inch stick bait by Yum. I do love that color, guys. So far, we have not found any big bites, but we've had a few bites. Uh, Mike's kind of struggling with that. Uh, Topwater hasn't had anything substantial yet. I've got a few bites. I had a couple get off, but we've landed a few small ones. It seems that that is the only thing as biting at the moment. We're going to switch it up. I've also got some baits from a company called the Outlaw Tackle Company here in West Virginia. Thanks, Warren, for sending me those soft plastics, man. We're going to throw some now. And since I started with the Wacky Rig, we threw that Elder's Magic, which I'll be throwing more of. I definitely love that color. But right now, we're going to be throwing the 4-inch Pond Scum. It's called, again, from Warren, thanks, uh, Outlaw Tackle Company here in West Virginia. I do love the color worn. We're going to try it as the same size stick bait as I, the Yum product. So let's give it a try. Let's see if we can catch some fish. But right here's what we're throwing. From the Outlaw Tackle Company here in West Virginia, this is the Pond Scum 4 inch stick bait here, man. Uh, that's the same size as that Yum Dinger again on that same weight. I do like this color. Let's throw it here. We got him hooked. Yeah. We got our first one here, guys. All right, man. Not a bad one. Maybe our best fish. On the pond scum. Warm, buddy, this one's for you. It's not much of a smiley here, but hopefully we continue to go up in size. But that is our first one, guys. He's probably at least seven, maybe eight inches. All right, we'll keep throwing here, guys. I still got the Pond Scum 4-inch stick bait by Outlaw Bait Company here, right in West Virginia. I'm trying out some of their baits today. I since I was started off, you know, throwing that wacky rig, I figured I'd go ahead and just try this one. I do like the color. So far, we've landed that one fish. We had another one there get off. We've had a few bites on it here. Now, I've usually had pretty good success with them hooks. I haven't. Now, I can see where it was bent. It might have been bent on a couple of them. You got one? All right. Hey, at least we had the camera running. Yeah, buddy. Nice job, Mike. Get him in here. Buzz bait number one. Oh, yeah. What do you think he is, Mike? 13. Huh? Probably 13. Hey. He's 14 and a quarter. quarter. All right. Look at his jaw. Oh, buddy. Something got a hold of him there. Yeah. Pretty little smile, man. 14 and a quarter? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Mike's first fish of the day. 14 and a quarter. That's a good start, ain't it? Oh, yeah. There's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, he's not too bad. Maybe a foot. All right, guys, here's another one. He hit the 3.75, what was it? Pearl jerkbait here from Outlaw Tackle Company. Guys, it's our first one. Man, is he hooked good. One last look at him, guys. He's a 
he's a dark smallie. Beautiful fish here, he might go 11 inches. But guess what? He's the best of the day. So I'm gonna let him return. Thanks for biting, buddy. They are getting a little bit bigger. Right here, guys, is what we caught the fish on. It's kind of how I'm using it here. I don't know, he kind of put a hurt on it there a little bit, but guys, this is what we're using in the pearl white. I kind of just got a weighted hook on it there. That's one sixteenth ounce, and I'm not too straight on the head here. Maybe we'll fix that. All right, folks, that is our first one here on the pearl jerk bait here, 3.75, three and three quarter inches. Just trying something different here. We have started with the wacky rig. Now we're throwing this uh, jerk bait here. I do have it on a one sixteenth ounce. Wait to just to give it a little bit of weight. It's still a slow fall. Kind of finesse fish it here, and I'm giving it some twitches, guys. Hopefully we can catch one more fish out of it here. Oh, we had another bite. Kind of messed the head up on it there, but I'm gonna see if I can catch another fish on it. We've got different colors, guys. This is the pearl, I forget, there's one ghost color too that I like real, real well that would probably work in this water. We had another bite right there on it. Hey, it takes it a little while to get down that water. I'm just using a 1 16th ounce weight. Got my Gatsu weighted hook. Again, I don't know if that's the best way to run these. A lot of people do them weightless. They do them different ways, but as long as we're getting bites, guys, that's all that matters. There's one. There's one. We've got another one on the old jerk bait. He's hooked good too. Mike. Not very big guys, but I'll take it. That's about the size we're catching, but we are catching them on the old jerk bait here. Pearl white color. Let's see if we can catch one more guys. And I'm thinking about switching, maybe trying that cinnamite. It's a new bait. I've never thrown one. We've got some color, different colors sent to me, but I don't know exactly what I'll try. But Mike's up there catching hey. fish. Yeah, buddy. That's a spot. Spotted bass. You better bring the board up here on this one. All right, guys. Says he's got a spotted bass. Let's go check out what he's got. Spotted bass usually. Don't get that big around here. I think a 14-incher is a citation trophy here in West Virginia, but we'll see what he's got. Yeah. Let's get up here. I'd say about 12 inches. Yeah, buddy. That's a nice Look little spot. He healthy, buddy, ain't he? So he's fighter in a pig. We'll put him on He's a healthy fish, he ain't he? Yeah. All right. We'll put him on there just see what he is. Let's see what he is. Let's see what this old spot is, man. Yeah, 12 inches. Buddy, you nailed it. I nailed it, didn't I? 12 inches. Look how fast that bugger is. Yeah. Huh. It's a good fish. Pretty good. Two more inches, Mike. It'd have been a trophy. Yeah. We'll see you, buddy. There's one. We got one. Maybe. Get in here, buddy. Little fish. All right, you might be smaller than the rest of them. All right, guys, here is little Smalley here. We are throwing a different bait. Let me show you what I'm throwing here. Kind of got that rig, guys. This is the Cinnamite, the Black and Brown Flake, the Outlaw Tackle Company. That's our first fish on it. I want to throw this a little while and see if we can catch one. That's our first one on it. Again, a small fish. I do not know where these big ones are. Mike caught a 12 inch spot. That last fish I caught was a pretty decent fish, maybe 11 inches there a while ago on the jerk bait. So we're catching them on a little bit of everything, guys. I just wanted to try it out. I've got an inline spinner that I want to try. So we'll throw this Cinnamite for a little while longer. I think this is the three inch. It's our first one on it, guys. We got another one. Come in here, Mr. Smallmouth. Yeah, buddy, that's our second one. 
on the black brown gold flake or should I say black brown flake cinnamite we are trying another new lure out here guys gentleman sent me some inline spinners here some bass killers some trout killers right now I've, I'm only using a 1 16th ounce weight so I got to let that kind of sink a little bit but let me show you what I'm throwing here thanks to Jeff Lowe out of Charleston West Virginia sent me a few of these I'd like to have some a little heavier we'll probably work something out where we can get some quarter ounce but this is the black ghost guys with the silver blade I'm running it on a swivel and we're going to see we've been just you know using multiple baits today throwing baits that I've never thrown before we're going to try to catch one on this I think we will again it's the black ghost Jeff makes some really good colors I've got five or six colors that I'm going to try out and I think a little heavier one would work as well. But guys, let's keep throwing it here. Let's see if we can catch one. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Can we land him? Yeah. Yes, man. All right, small mouth. Come in here, buddy. All right, Jeff, this one's for you, buddy, on the black ghost. We finally caught one on it, and I figured we would. Jeff said they're excellent for bass. Well, here's a little smallmouth, guys, our first one on Jeff's flies, man. Thank you, smallmouth. All right, folks, a first one on the black ghost. Now, this is just a 16th ounce lure. It's not very heavy. Jeff sent me some 1 20th ounce lures to, as well, some smaller ones, but I think I'm going to get some eighth and get some one quarter, but I do love the way these look, Jeff, man, that is, that is awesome, buddy, you got some purple in there, got some black, looks like you got some gray, some sparkle with that Colorado blade, man, I just knew it was a matter of time we would catch one, I'm just kind of using a slow retrieve here, guys, just fishing it down about as far as I can go without getting stagged but it has got some incredible action I love the way that's coming through the water and I just knew it's a matter of time we was going to catch one but we're going to throw it here a little while guys we're going to see if we can catch another one about a 10 inch small mouth there but it was good again to land another fish on a different lure guys I just wanted to throw some of the bait you've been giving me get i haven't used any of my baits today everything i've caught today has been on baits that's either been given to me or been sent to me to try out so my goal was to come out here and just catch a fish on each one of those of course i didn't throw everything but uh at least we've caught some fish today on some different lures yeah as soon as it hit the water this might be rock bass. Let's check it out. I believe it. Hey. Sunfish. Look here, guys. I don't think Frank's ever caught a sunfish on the river fishing with Frank Channel, has he? I don't know all my fish that well, guys. Help me out. Is that a green sunfish? Whatever it is. That's a beautiful little fish here, man. Got some orange. I thought it may be a rock bass. All right, guys, one last look at him. He's probably about four inches long, but I think it's a green sunfish. Y'all let me know. On Jeff's flies here, man. That's our second one. Now, that is a fish I don't believe I have caught. If I have, I can't remember the last time that I caught one of those, but it's a pretty little fish here. That's our second fish on the Black Ghost here. One sixteenth ounce inline spinner. Jeff, they are biting them, buddy. I'd like to land into a big one here. We'll keep making a few more casts. Me and Mike's caught some fish today, but neither one of us, no size. Yeah, we got another one. What do we got? We got another little tiny, tiny smallmouth. But he wanted that black ghost too, didn't you, buddy? Beautiful little fish here, about four inches long. 
you never know what's going to bite. Yeah, there's the first one. The guy's on the first cast. It's crazy. We just changed, guys. I'm going to tell you what I've done here if we can get this fish in. We've changed colors here. Jeff, I've switched it up, buddy. I know you know what this is. That is the rusty red blast. Again, guys, we're kind of switching it up here. Just a different color. That's another. When Jeff sent me, you can see it's catching fish, guys. That was on the first cast since I switched colors, but let me show you what I'm throwing here, guys. These look really good. I can't wait to trout fish with these, but like I say, you can see the bass love them just as well, but this is a 1 16th ounce. I believe that's what that is, Jeff, and uh, that's called the Rusty Red Blast. Again, on a swivel, that was our first cast. We've been throwing that Black Ghost. Just thought I'd switch it up here, throw some different colors here. These are two of the heavier baits that Jeff sent me, so that's what I would, thought I would try I thought that would work better. These 1 16th ounce spinners and guys, they are catching some fish. There's another, there's another one. We got another one. Another small one. Yeah. Yeah, man. We're wearing them out, Jeff. This is fun, buddy. Hey, these hooks are sticking them too, Jeff. Once they bite, buddy, they're hanging on. And that's a good thing. Well, folks, we are going to continue to move up the river here. What I thought I'd do at this point, guys, I've threw a bunch of different lures that I've never thrown before, and we caught some fish. Guys, both Mike and I have caught some fish today here. Kind of been of a dink fest. Nothing of any size. I think Mike caught one 14 and a quarter being our biggest fish caught a nice 12 inch spot that is pretty good size for west virginia here in this water so uh not a bad day and like i said earlier the day is not over we got some fishing to do but i want to thank dakota i want to thank warren and i want to thank jeff for sending me some lures guys i want to continue to throw those uh <laughs> i knew i'd probably catch fish on it and that, that was my goal when i come out here today was at least catch one fish on each of your guys lures and and we did that, guys, even a couple different colors. I cannot wait to throw them again, but guys, I want to thank you for sending them. I'm going to probably put on, uh, I'm thinking about throwing that Kytec, that pink swim bait, guys, that 3.3 inch pink magic. And we're going to see if we can draw a big bite. I don't know. Neither Mike or I have caught any big fish today. But we've still got a lot of good water to cover, and I'm going to put that on that 1 8 ounce weighted hook. And again, we'll throw the Kytec around here for a little while, and we'll see if we can maybe hook a bigger fish but let me kind of show you where we're at here guys uh we are in a rocky area but another beautiful section along the tug that we have never fished before i'm going to try to catch up like i said with mike down here he's a good 100 yards plus uh in front of me i don't know if he's been catching any fish like i said he's caught a few but this is what it looks like here on the tug today guys a beautiful section the water looks pretty good today the water is low we we've uh, we've not had much rain but uh, this week's supposed to be you know a milder week at least in the mid 80s so hopefully we can get some fishing in hopefully we can catch a few more here today guys again let's throw that pink swim bait and let's see if we can make it happen there's one all right got a little one guys come in here a little small mouth it has been a while I hope we do have you hooked halfway decent. We'll bring algae and all in here. She cleaned up. My God. You guys, we got the sexy shad on here. The 3.3 inch Kytec. I switched from the pink. We've got the sexy shad going on and that landed. That fish. There's one. There's one. All right, come here, buddy. Yeah, rainbow shad, guys, I switched baits. We're still throwing the swim baits, but this is a different color. Uh, yeah, he's a fighting, like he's a big one. But he's not too big. 
Yes. But I'll take it. My biggest of the day, good 12, 13 inches, solid fish. He decided he wanted that rainbow shad. I didn't have any more sexy shads, but uh, beautiful smallmouth here, guys. It's about time. There's one. There's one. Yeah. Yeah, we finally, finally, baby. Yeah. Yeah. We got one on the tubes. We have switched, guys. We are throwing the PB and J TRD tubes, guys. And it's our first one. Thanks for biting, Smalley, right there by that rock. I think it'd be one over at that rock, man. It's a good looking spot. Been casting this PB and J a little while here, guys. So we've just caught that one fish. Might have, you know, a couple of bites, but uh, it's definitely slow down. Mike said he caught a pretty decent one out of this hole. He's up above me, but uh, just the one so far. We'll make a few more casts around this rock. Man, you think there would be one over there. So far, we haven't got a bite. Right there. We got a bite there. We got a bite right there. Right by that rock. Yeah. <sighs> All right, guys, hooked up again. All right, not a big one, but at this point, I'll take about anything. Beautiful little smiley here. Another one on the PB&J. That's number two on that. Yeah, finally. A little fart. Buddy, that's all I've caught today. That's all I can catch. That's, uh, it's exactly uh, what I've caught today, about this size. All right, folks, we are going to wrap it up for today here on the Tug Fork River. I know I had some fun. Me and Mike's both wore out. We got a little ways walk back to the truck, probably a good mile probably longer but anyway guys i had some fun out here today we didn't catch any big fish mike caught a, a lot bigger fish than i did mike probably what was your biggest fish today by 15 inches 14 and a quarter buzz bait all day stuck with it didn't you did you no good on a spinner bait well guys i'll tell you what i want to come out here and throw some different lures today i want to thank you guys for sending them my way we caught fish on just about each and every lure. I can't wait to try them some more. So Dakota, thanks. Jeff, thanks. Warren, thanks for sending those my way. I'll be slinging some more of your baits here. We even finished with the PB&J, caught some fish on that as well. And uh, the Wacky Rig guys, we started off with it and uh, that landed us some fish. We caught a bunch of, bunch of fish, finesse fish, but again, no size. That's okay, guys. I had some fun out here. I'm going to wrap it up from the Tug Fork River again. I want to thank everybody supporting the channel, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.